This is a type of vending machine that's hugely popular in Japan. Turn the handle and out pops a round capsule. Inside is a toy, and part of the attraction is never knowing exactly which toy you'll get. Invented about 50 years ago, these capsule vending machines were first installed in sweet shops and other places where children hang out. Today they're so popular, you'll see lines of machines outside in many streets. And there are even specialist stores with machines selling hundreds of different varieties of capsule toys. They come in a vast range of designs, anime characters to lifelike animal models. <laughs> These toys are popular with adults too, and many people are quite serious about their collections. The best thing is when the one you've been searching for pops out at last. It's a great feeling, like winning the lottery. This capsule toy recently became a giant hit with adult fans. Dressed in office uniform, she's called Kopu no Fujiko. Her name means the edge of the cup, and that's where she's designed to perch, on the rims of glasses and cups. So far, over 10 million Fujiko figurines have been sold. The designers are still coming up with fresh variations, such as this one, which actually sits under the glass. She's very cute. Her face reminds me of old-time manga. Her tiny face is so expressionless, but somehow you sense her toughness and tenacity. <laughs> Every capsule figurine begins with a handcrafted model. I enjoy the challenge of seeing how expressive I can make each toy despite the limits of the small size of the capsule. This detailed clay model will be the pattern for manufacturing the final product. Extraordinary attention to the tiniest detail is the mark of Japanese capsule toys. It takes high-level skills to craft figurines so appealing, while still small enough to fit in capsules just centimeters high. Capsule toy designers continue to delight us with surprising and unusual ideas. These toys are now a big attraction for tourists visiting Japan. Oh, hey, I got the blue one. <laughs> cool. I think they're fun, weird. Uh, I, I, I enjoy them. The appeal of capsule toys seems never-ending. Tiny models squeezed into such a small space somehow produce an outsized amount of fun.